I love traveling, visiting new places, experiencing different cultures, but most of the time I don't love the journey. I generally find it pretty draining, so I only do it when the trip is really worth it. This was one of those trips. A long day traveling down to London, a short stay in a hotel to try and grab some sleep before catching a flight the next morning. long day. Uh, been traveling for like eight hours now and I'm ready to go to sleep. I've got to get up at five tomorrow to go and get on a plane to rally to start my soma treatment. So I'm going to bed because I'm knackered. So the reason I'm flying out to Rally is to start my SOMA treatment with Dr. Elmo. So we've got an eight hour flight now and then not really doing much other than going to sleep that first night. And then late on the next day, I'm going to be going to my first appointment with Dr. Elmo's assistant. So um, it's going to be fun. About six days I'm going to be in Rally and um, doing some other bits and pieces as well. So I will tell you a bit more about all of it when I get there. The day after landing, I went to get a rhino manometry test done. This isn't part of the SOMA treatment, but it gives an accurate measurement of your nasal breathing, which is key to having healthy breathing, particularly during sleep. You breathe through one nostril at a time into the mask and it records how well your nose is functioning. You then repeat this process, trying different nasal sprays and dilators to see if they give any improvement. Sinus inflammation is a big part of the cause of my sleep apnea. So this measurement will help me to track whether I'm able to improve my inflammation over time, as well as potentially being able to see if maxillary expansion helps my nasal function. Okay, so I'm just about to go to my appointment with Dr. Elmore. Um, we're going to spend uh, quite a few hours fitting my soma. She's going to be adjusting it, and then I've got an appointment with um, her PT, Mike Vita, who's going to also do some work on my body and looking at my posture and understanding what I can do to improve that. Um, it really works well with Soma because that's so much about sorting out the posture too based on balancing the bite and things like that. So it's going to be a really cool day, and I'm going to take you along and show you some of what we're doing. Are you a handshake or a hug guy? Hug guy? How's it going? Yeah, all right. Dr. Elmore started by doing some muscle and strength testing so she could see my range of motion, how my body was compensating and where it had weakened over time. This gives a baseline to compare to once the soma has been adjusted. The tests can be repeated and an improvement seen immediately. And here. Six. Six on the shoulder and then hand. The muscle testing on my hand really hurt. That was obviously a really weak spot in my body. After that, the raw soma is gradually adjusted until it fits perfectly. It needs adjusting because although the soma has been made in a lab accurately to the digital impressions of my mouth, it needs adjusting to function correctly for the changes in the jaw, mouth and head that Dr. Elmore is working to achieve. When we adjust the platform, so we'll call this the vertical, when we adjust the vertical, it changes the horizontal, which was the one big thing that I learned the most with the SOMA. I don't think in dental they really talk about, or really medical either, but specifically dental because we're talking about a dental appliance. I don't think that they educate us enough on the fact that whenever you make a change to the vertical, it makes a change to the horizontal. Okay. 
which makes sense if you think about ortho, um, even traditional dentistry where we make a change to a filling or something like that, that is also going to impact what happens in the horizontal as well with the growth and development. So as we're doing a custom fit, Ali will just make some changes and then have you try it in and, you know, just go back and forth. This is an involved trial and tweak process that is a whole art form in itself. The, I mean, the right, yeah, the left side, the model looks fine, right? I don't want to do, get too aggressive yet, like I add that rhythm to, so that we don't have to add back any really bad to you. How are you feeling now? Squeezing in the back. What about on the sides? It was very difficult to talk with the same in initially. It's a little easier now. My muscles have got used to it. But when I first was trying to speak with it, it was a bit of a challenge. Yeah. In the, in the back? All across, I think, the side. Okay. It feels like it's just pushing in a little bit. What's Still not pinching, right? Nope. Okay. And then rest your head back for me. And tap, tap, tap. Good. Come on, come on. Good. Okay, I'll lie down and slide forward. Good. In the back. Good. I think back and forward. Good. And then we go back down and forward. Good. You did some. Then we repeated the test from the beginning to see the initial improvements. There was a big change in my muscle strength. The tenderness had decreased pretty dramatically from the initial test. Okay. Come on, three. One, two, three. Stronger for sure. He's a nine on the right. All right, resist on three. One, two, three. Yeah. He's a nine on the left. Left side. Ready? Okay. One, two. Two. Three, maybe. Three on the shoulder. And? Um, five or two. Six on the left hand. So this is it in this little case. Um, here it is. Spent all day fitting it. Um, so I'll show you some close-ups of it another point, but right now I'm just going to stick it in and go to sleep. After I'd done all the health aspects of my trip, it was time to just go and have some fun. I liked the look of the North Carolina Museum of Art when I checked it out online, so I decided to go and have a look. Oh my god, this place did not disappoint. The variety and size of the collection was just incredible. Even if you only liked 5% of the pieces, you would have still come away happy because the sheer volume of work on display was just incredible. They also have like sculptures in the ground that reminded me of Yorkshire Sculpture Park back home, which me and Georgia love. It was an incredible end to my trip. My heart just felt so full and I was ready and looking forward to flying home. I really needed this today. It's been a really tough six months or so. It's been great to come here, finally get my soma sorted, so it's been a huge uh, win really and there's a lot of emotional ups and downs that come with that whole journey, so um, it was really amazing to get my soma fitted yesterday. Um, but it was a long day and so today it's been so nice just to come here and kind of recharge and refresh and be inspired by all this amazing art.
it's been five months now since I had my first Soma fitted. And I've just booked my next flight out to go and have my checkup. So it's been a big improvement so far. Um, I'm definitely sleeping a bit deeper. I'm starting to have dreams again. And I'm also finding it a lot easier to fall asleep if I do wake up. But Dr. Elmore's made a new Soma for me that's got a deeper platform. And hopefully that's going to help bring my jaw forward a bit more and get my airway a bit clearer. So I will give you an update after that and let you know how it's going. I hope you found this look back on my first Soma appointment helpful. Um, if you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and definitely I'll keep you informed about how my health journey is going.